Hello everyone, I'm Josh Garrett and in this video I'm going to be talking about global trade. First of all, let's look at what we're going to be learning in this video. Number one, what is global trade? Number two, before global trade. Number three, why is global trade so important? Let's start with the first one. What is global trade? Global trade is a combination of imports and exports. It's a it's shipping a product from one country to another. I'll give you an example. So we all know that Porsche is manufactured in Germany, but from Germany, they'll have to be exported to the whole world or wherever the Porsche is needed. I'll give you another example. This is like the perfect example. Apple. If you've seen behind the box or wherever the information is placed, you will see that designed in California, manufactured in China, shipped to your country. This is like the perfect example of global trade. As you can see, global trade is simply just one country to another and another country to another. That is simply global trade. And I will give you just a quick briefing about imports and exports. As I just said in the first example, Porsche is being exported to the whole world. Exported is shipping from one country. So if I am looking to Germany's perspective, I am exporting a product, which is the Porsche. And let's say it's being delivered to India. Through India's perspective, it is being imported. These two must explain imports and exports very well for you. Now, what was there before global trade? How did the global trade work? Well, first, there used to be mercantilism from the 16th century to the 18th century. Basically, how this worked is this, there were these people named mercantilists who believed that each country should maximize exports and minimize imports. This was so that the country become, can become richer and can be pr protected. There can also be a third extra benefit being that there were more jobs for the people because the country had to make everything. They minimized imports and they maximized exports. So the country had to make lots and lots of stuff. This was good, but a few economists opposed that idea. And this became for everyone's well-being, which brings me to my third and final topic. Why is global trade so good? Like, why can't people just minimize imports and maximize exports like the mercantilists? Well, the answer being is that it's a win-win for everyone through the current global trade version. If you look at mercantilism, it was kind of like a lose for everybody, which is why these economists said that focus on the things that you're really good at. So so let's say Germany is very good at making cars. Then you should focus more on producing cars than producing other stuff. So when it focuses on cars, it can produce very high quality cars, which everyone will want. And because of this, everyone will want to buy it. But where is the win-win? Well, Germany, whatever it cannot make, whatever it is not good at, it will import all those products. For example, it's bad at making, for example, let's just say erasers. So it will import erasers from another country. If Germany is bad at carpentry, they can just import all the furniture and likewise. So, and thanks to this, all the countries nowadays are being measured through their productivity and not through their wealth. People usually see how well, how much the country is producing, how well they are producing, rather than looking at how much money a country has. And that is basically global trade. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.